BBC News star Jane Hill revealed she walked out of Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer film halfway through after spotting a major flaw that left her disappointed. The newsreader, 54, took to Twitter to share her unsatisfactory cinema experience, revealing she complained to staff after only managing to watch half of it. Since hitting UK cinemas last month, the atomic bomb thriller, which stars Cillian Murphy in the titular role, has been given a slew of five-star ratings while critics branded it Nolan's best and most revealing work. However, it appears Jane was certainly not in agreement as she shared that she frustrated at not being able to hear the film's dialogue properly due to the loud soundtrack, and was even more astounded to learn that the issue occurs in almost all of Nolan's films. She told her followers, saw Oppenheimer, well, managed half of it. Disappointed that music and effects often drowned out the actors, I missed whole chunks of dialogue. Told the cinema I thought the sound needed rebalancing, staff said we have this issue with all Christopher Nolan films. Seriously, and it appears that several of her followers were in agreement, with some complaining of hearing issues with others confirming that sound issues are common in Nolan films including Batman Begins. One person wrote, it's not the cinema, it's the director's vision. Nolan has done this in a lot of his films. While another shared, colleague at work said that as well about the music drowning out the dialogue. Seems to be Nolan thing. I recall seeing one of his Batman movies and having the same experience, tweeted a third, with another adding, yep, his movies always have sound issues. Jane was quick to add that she doesn't blame the cinema for her poor experience, writing, I should be clear that I don't believe the problem was with the cinema. There was nothing wrong with the sound on the trailers. Before she then later shared her relief at not being the only person struggling to hear Oppenheimer's dialogue, she penned, thanks for so many replies to my Oppenheimer observation. I'm relieved it's not just me who couldn't hear the dialogue. Yet what madness. How can you follow a film if you can't hear the actors? Director Christopher Nolan recently addressed reports that the dialogue in the film is unintelligible due to the sound, confirming in an interview that it was an artistic choice. He told Insider that he didn't want to use additional dialogue recordings in post-production as he'd rather capture the dialogue in the moment rather than request actors repeat their lines later in a soundproof booth. He said, I like to use the performance that was given in the moment rather than the actor revoice it later which is an artistic choice that some people disagree with, and that's their right. Despite Jane's woes, Oppenheimer has scored epic reviews among UK publications with a slew of four- and five-star ratings after winning huge praise in the US. Christopher Nolan's latest epic tells the story of the theoretical physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer, also known as father of the atomic bomb, with Cillian Murphy nabbing the titular role, in which he delivers a chilling performance.